Hey guys, it's uh, Chris C here back from CNH Small Engine again for another uh, video. This one deals with uh, my uh, a couple of my SKSs I got here. I have my uh, Chinese SKS and I have my uh, Yugo SKS up at the uh, gun range right now. And I'm going to doing a uh, functionality test fire for both of them up here. Uh, functionality test fires should usually require at least uh, five and ten rounds per gun to make sure that they uh, function properly and uh, they don't have any. Uh, mishaps whenever uh, you're using them for that. Uh, the Yugo SKS rider here, I had to do a thorough cleaning of the, uh, the bolt, uh, the bolt assembly, and I also had to replace the firing pin, and I also replaced the um, firing tin retainer, or the firing pin retainer pin with a newer one. Uh, they did not, uh, I, I cannot find a, a Yugo replacement for it, so I had to have a uh, Chinese one. I also had to modify that one as well by uh, grinding down the uh, horseshoe shaped part where it fits into the, uh, the right hand side of the gun and uh, to fix a problem on it for that. And the only way to do that is you have to take it apart, you've got to grind the horseshoe shaped part on there and that usually fix a problem. You also have to center punch uh, the um, shaft part about three times so it uh, has a nice firm grab in there because the uh, Chinese bolts uh, they uh, have a uh, firing pin retainer pin that's slightly smaller than the uh, Yugo ones out there. So if you have a Chinese uh, SKS and a Yugo SKS, you're going to have a slight variance between those two out there on the market. And you can uh, interchange parts as long as you can modify the parts of the one gun that will work for the other one right there for that. So if you've got a Yugo SKS, an like M59C6, it's basically not a carbon copy of the Russian type. You have to have to modify the uh, retaining pin for the bolt in there as well too. So I'm going to do a test fire right now for this one so you can see how it functions. So it doesn't have any problem functioning after you modify the uh, bolt with that apparatus for that. The uh, Yugo SKS appears to be cycling fine on a no problem for that one. So the uh, Chinese retainer pin definitely works in there for that. If it didn't, the thing would have been sliding out by now on there for that. 
I'll uh, testify the uh, Sino Soviet Chinese SKS right now as well, too, for uh, functionality of that one. Okay, that'll be a five. Let me see. One, two, three. I'm just using a Golden Bear with the first uh, round on to see if it makes any difference as opposed to the standard Wolf Military WPA Classic ammunition. So I'm going to try that first here. The uh, Chinese SKS passed the functionality test uh, after cleaning it for about two hours of all the calls bleeding. The uh, bolt appears to be working fine. Uh, whenever you do clean a bolt, always soak it in uh, Hoppy's gun cleaner or uh, some kind of parts cleaner. I prefer to use a uh, carb cleaner as long as the carb cleaner is boiling. Uh, you can soak it in for about five or ten minutes to clean it out thoroughly. And once you do that, you blow it out, then you put some uh, Hoppy's uh, cleaner down inside the, the, um, the uh, firing pin hole. And after you do that, uh, run a couple of uh, bore cleaners up through the hole and spin them around about 20 or 30 times. Then the last proper way to do it would be to um, put some brake cleaner down inside as well to uh, wash out any residue from the, um, the previous cleanings in there so you shouldn't have any problems with it. You should always use the uh, late style Chinese uh, SKS firing pin, but that one seemed to work a lot better than the uh, typical Yugo ones or the, um, the pyramids type on the, the pyramid angles because they, they have a more mass, more mass cause, more, uh, uh, what do you want to call it, uh, more movement to uh, take it. So get the lighter shiny. 